uh, we can call them uh, nationalists if you want. But Chicho, European countries are traumatized by the wars. Nationalism almost destroyed Europe. So it's not surprising they have uh, gone so far away. Um, Ibi, it's not nationalism that destroyed Europe, right? It's supremacist mentality that destroyed brought on two world wars and it was it wasn't even really that it was bankers wars which is what it is right now is resource wars bankers wars right it was socialism that in large part national socialism right socialism that brought this on and a lot of the wars have been started by the left uh, historically especially in the united states by the democrats the left if you want to call them the left which they're not right so it's it's like for me i love canada fuck anybody that's fucking with canada like all these politicians they're fucking with canada man that's been my country right why they they're traitors to canada they will be dealt with as far as i see it right and there's a lot of traitors like news came out here eb i'll, I'll give you an example news came out through an investigation, internal investigation that was done by the either by CSIS or RDRC, I can't believe I had not believe, but I, I can't remember who it was, which institution it was, government institution that did uh, an investigation and found out a lot of MPs in Canada, members of parliament in Canada, were agents of foreign countries, right? Holy shit, they were working for foreign nations. Right? They haven't released the names for some fucking reason. Right? Because they know how deep dark it goes. The World Economic Forum, Schwab, came out and said majority of the Canadian government MPs, majority of Canadian MPs are under World Economic Forum control. That's an external force to Canada. That means all those MPs that their first agenda is to push the world economic forum agenda that's an external force from europe right if that's their agenda supersedes canadian rights canadian laws that means they're traitors to canada what do countries do to traitors to canada or traitors to a nation historically <laughs> They don't fare well, right? What do you think we should do? EB, what do you think we should do to members of parliament, people who are in your government, when you find out they've taken kickbacks from foreign nations or they've pushed an agenda that uh, was being pushed by that foreign agency, right? What should we do with them? 